podcast stuff. Hey, what's up? So today we're looking at some written toy reviews. Um, I'm going to read a handful of them and see what people are saying out there. You know, real finger on the pull shit. And I am sick. Um, so if I sound weird, just ignore it. Just pretend I'm fine. <laughs> pretend I'm fine. But yeah, we'll also see how their thoughts align with my own. Maybe hit them with a worthy or an unworthy if I'm feeling fancy, frisky, you know. Um, <laughs> we'll see. So yeah, today, uh, just as the thumbnail suggests, we're looking at the, what's his name, Knockout <laughs> um, from Legacy, I think. Uh, but before we get into it, make sure you do all the YouTube stuff, like the video, subscribe, share with your friends, hit the bell, leave a comment, several comments, tell me everything, tell me all the things, um, do it. Thanks. Uh, it really helps me out. <laughs> I, appreciate, I appreciate it. All right. So I did a quick Amazon search for some reviews. I got a lot of them. Uh, the number will be on screen. I don't know how many I'm going to actually read. <laughs> uh, and we're going to start with this one from Robert Dustin Peterson II. They say, like the old days. I've been trying to find old style Transformers for my son like I used to have whenever I was little. And this one is one of the closest ones I could find. Even though it's from a new series, it's still old style where you have to sit and transform it. Very good quality, not good instructions <laughs> at all, but I definitely recommend. Sorry, I didn't. I thought there was going to be sentences with this. Uh, it's just kind of like one big run on. No shade. I just I wasn't prepared. So, you know. Five stars. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I wonder what they mean by you have to sit and transform it. Like, you know, <laughs> they, they want it to auto transform. They make those now. They're really expensive and um, not very fun, I assume, because they're just I want to play with it. You know, I don't want it to do all the transforming, but that's just me. No shade to <laughs> Robo Sen or whatever they're called. Uh, but yeah, five stars. Robert Dustin Peterson, the second approves. Could use some punctuation, but whatever. Who cares? Next one. I hit the mic a bit. Oh, well. This one's from Justina Taylor. The subject line says, four-year-old loves, loves it. it. Uh, he, <laughs> he loves Transformers so much. And surprisingly, it's easy to transform. Some of them could be so hard, but this one's pretty easy. I was even able to do it myself. <laughs> ah. Definitely recommend. Five stars. So that's pretty good. Glad they like it. Glad the four-year-old likes it. Probably a little young to be playing with this kind of thing. But, I mean... Never too early for brain cognition to start kicking in, you know? <laughs> really get those really get those motor skills going. Don't know really what cognition has to do with it, but sounded it felt felt right, but I, I don't I don't really I'm sick. Leave me alone. Oh, we got a big one from uh Danny New uh, New New Yen New Yen. Danny New Yen. Uh, here we go. Four stars, and the subject line is Prime Universe Reimagine as easily as possible. The legacy line takes old figures that we used to know and love and spins them into a modern yet simple transformation. Get it? This specific example from the legacy line takes Knockout from the Transformers Prime and gives him a simpler, sturdier, yet slightly blocky proportions of a remolded Studio Series 86 Jazz. As a result, he remains slightly stocky, but well posable due to modern manufacturing techniques, vastly improving playability of toys nowadays. This works in Knockout's favor, as the original release has slightly looser shoulder pivots and issues with how flimsy the back glass backplate uh, was. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny sentence. Not only does it result in a sturdier feeling robot mode, but a fantastically solid brick of a vehicle mode. Transformation is still fun and easy, but sturdy enough that you won't rip off the backpack's hinges since the windshield was thin and molded of mostly clear translucent plastic on the previous iterations of both G2 Jazz. <laughs> That's a mouthful, man. Uh, from the Studio Series 86 and the latest release of G2 Recolor Jazz from the Legacy line in his orange paint job. You know, you remember that one? I do. I like that one. <laughs> Looks like a Dorito. And they continue. Uh, you really can't go wrong with picking this figure up. He has customizable weaponry, either getting a spear or a gun or even a wrist mounted blade, depending on how you want to configure them. He's got a solid, and I mean it, vehicle mode that rolls very well. And the figure itself often goes on sale well below the original MSRP of $24.99, before tax, of course. All in all, he's a solid addition to your collection and a bargain if you shop wisely. I mean, solid review. Yeah, I got nothing to say that goes against it. It's a fine review. Danny said it all. Next up, we got one from Kylie. I'm a collector, so maybe I'm biased, but Transformers have gotten less detailed and less articulated these past few... Oh my god. 
<clears throat> I'm a collector, so maybe I'm biased, but Transformers have gotten less detailed and less articulated these past few years. No hand movement on the arms, and legs are just cavities. I got this on sale, so it wasn't the regular $25, but $15. And I think that is worth this toy. The teddy bear. And I think that is worth this toy. And I think that is worth this toy. Cool. Uh... <laughs> As a toy collector myself, I'm going to disagree with you. Um, less detailed. What are you talking about? Less articulated. What are you talking about? Um, <laughs> no shade, but I don't know. We're collecting different things, I guess. Next, we have uh, Ryan Ybarra. Five stars. Um, great for G1 fans is the tagline. Great reimagined Transformers Prime character. I got it because I love Transformers, and it somewhat looks like my IRL car. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love when that happens. I hope you put this car inside your IRL cars dash. It's going to look great. Actually, I think Knockout would really love that, to be in a car of himself. <laughs> Next, we have Nick's uh, Turb. Nick's Turb? Nick, uh, Nick's Turb. Yeah. Uh, five stars. Exactly what I ordered. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love when that happens. Uh, they said, packaging was excellent. Product and its box were in great condition. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. I didn't send it. I didn't <laughs> ship it, but I'm glad you got what you wanted. Hell yeah. Next, we have one from Jay Marley. Marley and Marley. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. My son loves it, is the tagline. Great product. I can't agree more. He's a great figure. A little loose, but what can you do? Uh, next, we have one from Amazon Addict. Um, the tagline is a bit floppy, kind of busty. <laughs> what? Has knockouts head. Nice. Okay. Um, that's the tagline. The actual review says, The Prime Universe legacy figures fall flat overall for me. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That sucks. That being said, this guy isn't very flat. The OG Prime figure is a bit flat in the chest, so this is quite the contrast, you know? You could pop a different head on this, and it could be bot dough. Um, do I, am I a fake fan? Do, what, who's bot dough? Let me know. Uh, besides the head, color, and weapon, this just doesn't read as the Knockout Prime character. He's overall pretty floppy and loose in bot mode, but once you have him posed, he's okay. The alt mode is nice and solid. It does an okay job at looking the part. Still, in my opinion, you'd have to know who you're looking at. You could see all this going in, so I was aware, and I... What is this saying? You could see all this going in, so I was aware, and if I didn't see it, this on major sale... Okay, cool, cool, cool. You could see all of this going in, so I was aware, and if I didn't see this on a major sale, I would have passed on it. I still feel like I should have passed on it a bit, to be honest. Uh, I really don't recommend this bot. I mean, you gave it three stars. Maybe give it one if you don't like it. Next up, we have one from a helpful gamer, I guess. Very good, is the tagline. They say... This is just a great figure overall. It's pretty simple to transform, simple to pose, and fun to play with. So it's great for a kid, but do watch out for the doors. They are a bit fragile. There was a slight problem with the tab between the feet, but I'm not sure if it's just mine. All right. I mean, you know, five stars. Uh, I'll take it. A helpful gamer indeed, I guess. Next, we have one from Amazon Customer. The tagline says, it's good, but it need to be skinny. And they say, I love the car mode. And it's so cool. Yeah, I, I can't agree more. It is a pretty cool car. Next, we have one from Zero. Tagline says, it's fine. Five stars. <laughs> All right. They wrote, for the price, it's a little small, which is to be expected from Hasbro brand as of late. <laughs> Burn. They got him. <laughs> Nailed him. Uh, got Hasbro right where they live. I purchased this due to it being about the only version of this character out there. I mean, that can transform, of course. We don't stomach non-transforming figures of Transformers characters in this household. <laughs> uh, anyway, they say, uh, it's nice to just transform something on the fly without taking your whole afternoon, like some of these masterpieces. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I feel like a fine review is like a three or a four. Not a five, but two people found it helpful, so who am I to judge, right? Next, we have one from Jacob S. Um, this guy looks so cool is the tagline. Two stars. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, here we go. Looks are where it ends though. Oh my god. I doubt there's one reasonable tight reasonable. <laughs> I doubt there's one reasonable tight joint in this whole body. He's like a rag doll. Getting him to stand up is difficult, but getting him to pose is nearly impossible. 
He'll just flop over at the knees, the chest will come loose from the abs, his arms will fall to the sides, and he's just a mess. If you're only going to put him on a shelf in a very basic pose and never touch him again, or if you're very skilled in the art of tightening joints, then you, uh, you know, you may enjoy him. Otherwise, I cannot recommend anyone buy this Transformer, unfortunately. <laughs> Two people found that helpful. I mean, I guess. I could do without the attitude, though, you know. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. Next, we have one from John. My kid loves it. That's all that matters. That's the tagline. The, the actual review is, good figure for the price. Nothing too complex. Like the title says, my nine-year-old <laughs> my nine-year-old loves it. And that's, uh, that's what matters. And, you know, they're right. That's all that matters. If you like it, you like it. Who, who cares? Next, we have one from Liam that is a one-star review. Their tagline is, not gonna last, in parentheses, delicate. And the review goes like this. Um, this figure is a repaint slash remold of the Studio Series 86 Jazz figure. Both figures involve a large clear plastic carapace that transforms into two panels in a manner, <laughs> in a manner that involves flexing the plastic. Now normally this isn't entirely an issue, but for clear plastic, this repeated behavior will result in cracking, snapping, and other forms of the product breaking such as was seen with the initial figure's release. Sometimes the same day people gain the figure. Aside from that, it has semi-loose joints that won't hold static poses all that well, and due to engineering, has a constant willingness to unpeg at the torso. In conclusion, this figure is more on the delicate side of the spectrum, not recommended for small children unless they take care of their toys. I would also advise that the initial toys retail was $19.99, and since it's prone to having issues, I wouldn't buy this figure for anything more than that. Get it, Liam? Unleash your anger. <laughs> Let it out. Sorry you had a bad time with this figure. Let it all out. Next, we have one from Effie. Nice update to a Prime character. And the review is, Car and robot are really nice. Easy to transform. Stand solidly. All right. Your word against Liam's, I guess. Five stars. Hell yeah. Next up, we have one from Amazon Customer with a one-star review. The tagline is, A reasonable size, but not durable. The full review is, Looks good, is fun, but difficult to transform. Unfortunately, a door was broken after a short time. Not repairable, just not suitable for gaming. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Not repairable, just not suitable for gaming. Not repairable, just not suitable for gaming. I have no idea. No idea. I'm sorry you had a bad time with it. <laughs> Next one we have is from Angel de... Um, sorry, Angel de Jesus Resendiz Malan, Maldando. Um, their tagline is, very good and recommended. I'm sorry I butchered your name. I'm not trying to be an asshole here. I'm just sick and stupid. Um, five stars. Robot mode is a G1 style, which doesn't look like Prime, but the alternate mode is really good. Awesome. I'm glad you like it, Angel de Jesus. Oh, my God. <coughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> Sick and stupid. Next, we have one from Mike. Um, five stars. Tagline is already annoying Starscream. And their review is, though the box is a little crumpled, I'm not worried about that. Uh, he arrived quickly and safely. The price was right. And the item itself was in good condition. This is a welcome addition to my collection. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Mike. Hell yeah. Next one's coming in from Filippo B. Filippo B. Uh, five stars, tagline, very, very nice, but difficult to transform. Here's the review. Uh, it's beautiful, very well done. However, I do not recommend it to children under six or seven years old. Anyway, beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> I would tend to agree, depending on the child. Um, next up, we have one from Cliente Amazon. One star, bad plastic, very poor quality. Plasticuri del Varato and no stability. The worst thing is the legs. So... If I'm to take one thing away from all these things, the doors break off, it's hard to transform, and the, the legs suck. <laughs> That's what people are saying. And I'm not, I'm not trying to defend it. I think the legs are loose on mine too, um, but wouldn't give it a one star. The bones are there. <laughs> three, three at least, you know. But That's just me. Next we have Mena Wahid. Mena, Mena Wahid. Um, two stars. The tagline says, very hard for kids to transform. The review goes like this. Uh, it's not easy to switch this toy to a car and vice versa. I get it. Some people don't have the touch. What are you going to do? <laughs> That's so rude, but it is true. Some people just don't have the dexterity or the, um, 
the mechanical hand skills, eye coordination stuff. It's hard. Transformers are not easy. My parents could not do it when I was little. I struggled. They struggled. We all struggled. But you just got to keep doing it. You'll get better. It's all, it's all good. It's never a bad thing to learn, you know? Never too old to start. Hell yeah. Next one we got is from Giovanni. I'm Italian, so I can do this. Giovanni. Uh, they say, I don't know if I can do that, actually. Let's cut that. Cool. Uh, three stars. Plastic. No, that's not there. Three stars. Uh, classic medium quality Hasbro Transformer. Hell yeah, Giovanni. Get that shit. Really stick it to the man, you know? <laughs> they're really going to read this and change what they're doing. Uh, beautiful design, discreet materials, excellent shipping times, but absolutely terrible packaging. The box practically exploded in one of the lower corners. Well, I'm sorry about that. That sucks. I don't understand why a colossus like Amazon fails in these important details. Okay, we're going after Amazon. I'm, I'm, I'm with this. I'm here for this. Um... <laughs> Uh, finally, the day after the purchase, I found the same item on sale for two euros less. Oh, my God. The three stars are an average between the lights and the shadows of this purchase. Wow, that is beautiful, Giovanni. Holy shit. Wow, I love that review. That's a great one. We're going to put worthy on that one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Giovanni. Get it. And that's it. That's all I had. Um, so that's great. So, yeah, what do you think? You like this? This is a good show? I don't know. I'm not very good at reading, but I'll get there, you know, in time. <laughs> I'm only 30 something, 36, five, seven, who knows? Um, never too late to learn to read, but yeah, I'm, um, I'm also sick. So let's blame, let's blame it on the sick. Uh, that's been reading toy reviews. Episode one. What do you think? Um, hell yeah. Hell no. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> Any other websites with written reviews that you'd like me to dig into? Uh, I think Walmart and target have written reviews. No site is safe from my gaze, you know? None of them. But yeah, it's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment, Instagram, Twitter. You know what to do. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye.